Hey hey, so I just thought I'd make another personal video to let you know what's going on these days. And yeah, basically I was working at Subway, I had a walking trial there, <laughs> worked there a couple hours just to see how it is. And yeah, I can imagine that it is super stressful to work there, um, either when it's busy, because of course you need to deal with customers and make subways for them, and when it's not busy you need to, I don't know, bake bread or make sauces or prepare some vegetables, cut them and all that. So if you think about it, complete really it's like we have machines and robots for these things, we can automate that and humans should not be forced to do something like this. Humans should be like they should solve cancer or other health problems or they should fix the environment or we have so many problems like but they shouldn't be forced to work in such a job but it's just like ridiculous our society where we live in. Think also about the little children in like Africa who have to work in copper mines or the little children who have to harvest cacao beans like for chocolate. On this farm we find Abdul. He survived three years of work. He's just 10. He earns no wages for his work, he says. Just food, the occasional tip from the owner, and the torn clothes on his back. Put in the simplest of terms, Abdul is a child slave. And um, yeah, of course, if I compare it with that, I'm kind of lucky to just walk in a subway store. or um, Also, I had a job interview or a walking trial in a bakery yesterday, so... Maybe I can work in a bakery, but in the end it's the same. I mean, it doesn't matter if you work at Burger King, McDonald's, um, a bakery or Subway or Pizza Hut or whatever the fuck, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> it's just ridiculous that people are forced to work in these jobs and yeah, they have no choice. Like, how are you going to survive in this world? You need money in order to get food and the stuff that you need and want so um, yeah it's a shame that people have to work in these jobs and then on another hand like if I come back then I would have to deal with the study and need to learn and read lots of texts and like make these tests in the end and get this piece of paper the bachelor degree that says I'm a bachelor now and um, yeah it's just um, that's the world we live in and it's a shame. To make this now a little bit more positive, <laughs> I added some stuff to the trade free directory, um, some new uh, goods or services. So yeah, you can check it out, tradefree.org slash directory and you can also add some stuff, you can submit stuff or you can also review existing goods and services, how trade free they are, if they are very trade free or not that trade free and um, why you think like that. So we made it pretty cool and actually um, available for people to get involved. So if you want to help with that, you can let the directory grow and help um, making it better. On another positive note, I don't know positive, but yeah, I'm becoming a food saver. You know, there's this organization called Food Sharing. And um, what they do is basically they save food when it's being thrown away. Like the food that a supermarket or a restaurant would throw away. Food sharing works together with them. They make some cooperations. And then food savers can go to that restaurant or a supermarket and get that food. And just take it and distribute it. And um, yeah, in order to do that or become a food saver, I did a quiz. Um, they have some rules there and how to deal with hygiene and with um, when you enter a supermarket what do you need to take into account and what's important for you. And I also needed to do some four um, introduction collections, if you can call it like that. Like I just had to go with other people together and they will show me how to do it properly, what are things that are important when I go to a restaurant and get some food there. 
And um, yeah, so basically I need to do two more um, introduction collections with other food savers together and then I can go by myself, just go to a restaurant, like when they close and then the food that they would throw away, I can then just take it and give it to other people or eat it by myself. So um, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. I mean, like it's also ridiculous if you think about it. One third of all the food that is being produced gets thrown away. We also have a book about this called um, The Property of Waste. Maybe I can also do a video about this. So let's see, let's see. Then I maybe can also talk a bit about <laughs> what happened just now. You know, I took part of an online discussion um, from so-called Marxists, like from people who um, are into the Marxist movement. I don't know if you can call it movement. But um, yeah, they are just talking about um, what Karl Marx talked about. Like basically he analyzed also our society and this um, capitalism or this also, yeah, this trade system. Um, he analyzed it pretty well and he became quite famous but that online discussion I just took part they also talked a lot about um, politics like what happened in the USA with Trump and Biden and um, the stuff that's happening there but um, yeah I, they, are, they didn't talk they are also I asked them they were just saying capitalism is the problem of course um, but yeah, they were not talking about trade or trade-free goods and services. I don't know, it's just, it makes it so simple to grasp and um, yeah, easy to explain to other people. Of course, these people, they are kind of in their own bubble, so it's really tricky to um, yeah, reach other people, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do my, my videos and that's it. I mean, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Like, what can you do as a human being on this world in order to change things? It's super, super hard. We are trying our best and with the directory, we make it participative to uh, let people get involved. So, um, so yeah, I'm a bit struggling with all the university stuff and then the job thing that I have to deal with. But I'm okay, I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm also going for a run now and then and um, yeah, just um, continue with my videos. I'm gonna upload now another video that I made a couple days ago. And um, yeah, then it's also about the solution part and I'm very excited to talk about that. I'm also gonna talk about the trade-free directory, of course, in the end. But you know, as we say all the time, all the fucking time, focus on the problem and then solutions will emerge. So that's what Trump is all about. We are always talking about the problem because if there is no problem, there can't be any solution, right? So yeah, that was it for this video. I think, um, yeah, I kind of, maybe if I forgot something, it's all right. You know, I'm also all the time sharing stuff on Friendica, so you can follow me there. So yeah, I say goodbye for now and as always, take care and much love.